Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss very important topic which is very much used in the data engineering field and it is often asked in any interview. So today we are going to learn how do we actually implement upsort. So what does this upsort means? So let's try to understand. Let's suppose we have created one data pipeline and we are getting data from some source. Let's suppose from source is MongoDB and we have created one data pipeline where we are getting data from MongoDB uh, dash to extract, then we are writing some business transformations, then we are loading into some GCS bucket or S3 bucket or any SDFS or any distributed storage. Okay. Let's suppose today in MongoDB we are having 10 rows, but tomorrow we do uh, we might get 12 rows in mongodb right so if we run our pipeline today then this 10 rows will be extracted from mongodb and dumped to the gcs bucket or any s3 bucket or any distributed storage bucket right but tomorrow if we are reading that data if we are reading the data then we don't want to first thing is we don't want to read whole right and the second thing is that while dumping data to the GCS bucket, what we really want? We really want to have the upsort means let's suppose in uh, today we are having 10 data. In tomorrow data, we are having 12 rows, uh, which has nine same rows, one is updated and two new record heads come. So in our data lake or the uh, uh, distributed storage, we wanted to store uh, nine same record one latest record and two new records right we wanted to uh, uh, we wanted to keep 12 records right we will uh, write the code we will also uh, try to explain this uh, example once again and uh, we will try to see that how we can actually implement upsort logic there yeah let's try to open our editor and let's try to understand our approach and we will also try to code it down okay so there are multiple way of solving these problems. So I'm going to tell you one of the easiest way that I find and it's actually a good way, not a bad and not very optimized, uh, but it is actually a good way and it is a, a, a good answer if you are in interview and somebody asks you this question that how you are going to implement your upsort logic. Okay. So I have already written my co uh, uh, written down my code, but I will try to uh, show you the data and uh, how you are going to approach this problem. Okay. Okay. Just think from this perspective. Let's suppose you are having uh, data in your MongoDB, and currently it is having five rows. Let me just show it to you also. Uh, then I think it will be much easier for you. So I've already created some of the data frames and other thing. Uh, just one minute. Okay. So if I will show the data to you, it will make more sense to you. Let's suppose, let me just run it. So this is such just a normal code. I am using one uh, dummy data to show you that this is the data frame and these are all our data. Okay. So just try to understand. Currently, today in our MongoDB, we do have five records, assume like that. And we are having five seller ID, one, two, three, four, and five. And where the country is given. And we have also mentioned the creation date. So we can find two things that we are having two columns. One is the primary columns. We can call seller ID as a primary columns. And if any entry is made, then this creation date will be updated. Okay. Or if new entry is made, then this new date will come here. Okay. So we got two things. So there are two columns. One is the primary ID, right? which determine the uniqueness of the rows and second is the uh, creation state which determine the newness of the uh, rows. So uh, you are clear with that. So let's suppose today we are having five rows. 
tomorrow somebody pushed in the mongodb database and tomorrow we might get some more rows or something might be up, uh, updated right so let's suppose today we are having this data and tomorrow i've already created the data for you so i'm just going to run the code and will show it to you oh sorry i have not uncommented this let me stop it let me run it again okay so today we we were having only five rows today in our mongodb let's suppose we are having seven rows and let's try to examine this data here if you see then all data are same except this one so the seller id has moved to bhutan from sri lanka right and whenever this data is being updated then this creation date is being changed you can see right otherwise our five rows are same except this particular four rows right these are same then this one is updated means we are having four rows exactly same and one is updated and we also get new result uh, new record today that is 6 and 7 right so we got it and what we really want in our data lake or any uh, distributed systems or sorry distributed storage so we want to have upsort logic there so what does upsort logic means upsort logic means let's suppose if i am having five rows today if something is updated if some row is updated then i should get the updated result and if some new row has come then i should for that new row should be added to that particular result right so in our int result what we really want we want this thing uh this uh, uh we want this particular things right 1 2 3 4 4 four will be updated and 5 and 6 and 7 right so let's suppose in our uh, when we have run our pipeline so in our gcs bucket or s3 bucket we are having this data now we wanted to have upsort logic right so we wanted to have uh, we wanted to implement our upsort logic perfect so how we can actually do it so and we cannot directly implement uh, write something overwrite or up append or something like that right so if we will do the append thing so what append will do append will just uh, check that 6 and 7 and this will append to here and if we do the overwrite that this all every other thing will uh, overwritten i have not included why i am not impl uh, implementing overwrite because in upsort let's suppose in new record we don't have this particular one that particular seller but in this is deleted in today in the source level the like in the mongodb but in data lake we don't want to delete it right we uh, let me just do that also let me just remove that and run it then you will understand why i cannot implement directly override because in our s3 bucket i cannot just delete my one uh, record number 1 which has seller id 1 because i will lose the information in data lake i want to preserve the information then how can i implement that things and it's very common use case when you are working as a data engineer and you want you wanted to create your data lakes and you wanted to dump your data it's very very typical type of problems okay so we don't have this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and we are having 2 3 4 1 is deleted but in our end result what we what we really need we need 1 2 3 4 4 with uh, country name bhutan 5 6 and 7 these all data we uh, need right now right how can we implement it so this is very easy problem and there are hundreds way of solving it but the problem is that those who, who are actually uh, learning data engineering or doing some courses they actually get stuck with this type of problems and companies are very much asking these questions to uh, to just know that if somebody has really worked or not so yeah so i have already written one function uh, okay uh, we will walk through the code and we will also try to write it down okay so let me just go to the upsort 
of sort data function here i am having old data frame and the new data frames uh, for now i have created dummy data frames now right but what will be for you what will be the old data frame old data frames you will uh, will be your data frame which is present now so what you will do you will do a spark dot read dot and we pass the path of the uh, your s3 locations or your gcs locations right and new data frame will be the data frame which you are extracting today from mongodb source right so what you can do so let me just have these things and we will try to make it very raw then we will try to code it down this is just study data right data from in the mongodb right and this is the just one minute yeah this is the today's data perfect so how we can implement it and let's try to define our in result what we really want in our in result we want this new data and we also need this and from the this will be updated right so this is our desired result how we can desired result this we wanted to dump in our GCS bucket. How we can do it? It's very simple. Just do one thing. Apply union on old data frame, old and new. So if you apply the union, then your duplicate will be removed, right? That's the first thing. And you will get a combined result. So if apply the union, cool. Then uh, what all result you will get? One, two, three four uh five and this this will not come right two three four will not come uh, sorry two three will not uh, not come the four will again come right then then you will be getting five so let me just write it down so if you apply the union you will get something like this this will be there and this will be there i hope you understand how union work right so this will be our end result perfect but we don't uh, we don't want this result right this is the old data and this is our updated data then how we can implement it so i've already mentioned that we are having two column one is primary key that that four and four is same right and we are having one column which determine the newness so what we can do simple we will uh, uh, create one windows function apply row number and just filter out the uh, result so we will uh, what you will do so we will apply uh, create one windows function based on uh, we will apply the partition by on id and we will do order by on this particular date and then we will filter out all those result where row number is equal to one so let me uh, i don't want to just keep drawing drawing it here we can directly look the code i think you are getting the gist right so let code let's code there uh, one minute okay so the first step is we have applied the union perfect then what i have done i have created one windows functions where i have applied partition by key based on the primary key so this is very uh, normal function but you can make it make it very much modular what you can do you can pass primary key here itself and you can pass or uh, your order by key uh, order by column here itself and you can write very modular code right so uh, this is the seller id and what i am doing i am doing uh, order by on the column which determine the unique uh, newness that is the creation date and applying the descending then i am applying the row number and after that when say apply the row number i have created one more uh, columns which name is r name i am just filtering all those results where row number is equal to one so if we apply the row number here on this particular uh, uh, data frames so this route uh, as we are doing the partition by on uh, primary key so what this will give so this 
will be row number one and this will be row number two am i right perfect because the our, our partition is this so partition is same then it will be order by and that is in descending order so this is the latest date right and this is the uh, because we are having 2022 and it, this is the 2019 right so this is the latest date so this will be one and this will be two so we will just filter out all those results where row number is equal to one perfect so uh, I, I think it's very much easy for you. it's very easy functions I hope you are getting it or let me just run my code and we'll just show it to you okay So I am not teaching you from that uh, the normal uh, lecture address. I am just trying to make you understand how we actually write code in the productions in a good company. How to write the modular code? How to approach the problem? Right. So let's try to see. So this was our old data frame. Perfect. This is our new data frames which has four is uh, updated column and one is deleted. Right. This does not contain seller ID one and six and seven is the new record. Perfect. Then we applied uh, union there. So you will see that union has everything, right? Union has everything. Uh, this has also four. Uh, one is also there. And this is also there, right? Then what I have done? I have created one, uh, applied the row number functions. Perfect. So let's just see. In row number, you will see this particular four, the Bhutan, which is the updated result, is one. And this Sri Lanka is two, right? So and, and after that we are just filtering all those results where row number is equal to 1. Perfect. So let's just see. So here 4 is there. That particular Sri Lanka is not there. And we do have this result also. That is India. So we have preserved our deleted data from the source. One was deleted at MongoDB. But we don't want to delete in our data lake. That, that is in the S3 bucket. Right. So uh, that's a, a good way of applying of sort logic. There are multiple other way of applying the upsort logic, but this is the one of the easiest way. If somebody asks you in interview, just ask him that do you have primary key or do you have any columns which determine the uh, newness of the uh, things and once you are ready, you can just have this approach and you can just talk to the in uh, interviewer and just try to make, uh, make, make them understand that how you can actually apply the upsort logic and it is very much asked in a good interview. And while you uh, in the second round of data engineering interview, when somebody is trying to, uh, uh, to trying to ask you to design one batch pipelines or the streaming pipeline or something like that, how you can actually implement this uh, offset logic there? I hope you are able to get it. Uh, if you are having any questions, feel free to uh, write in the comment sections. And if you really like this video, will uh, please subscribe my channel and just share with your uh, friends. Thank you. Let's meet in the next video. Bye-bye.